So I seen this video a little while ago by Dream Foreign, where he was speaking about some neo-Nazis with ties to the prison gang who were arrested by the feds in a plot to start targeting Crips and Bloods in Los Angeles. I seen the I seen the media reports because he ran he he begins the video with the media reports and uh, salute to Dream Form man like you know his sense of urgency and 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 the peace you know talks and whatever and the need for people to come together you know I could appreciate that message. Um. So also, I, I just I was just watching this video by Dubs speaking about uh, Tortilla Flats and and this green light that supposedly they put on the blacks, and he was speaking to the you know those 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 elders who were shot up, and um, he pointed out he pointed out a fact that we all know that that is a no-no when it comes to the Rasa out there. To be targeting innocent people like that, elderly people like that, they know that that can be a death sentence to them going into prison, and that can also cause them to be green-lighted. Now, it's a trip because I'm, I'm watching the Dubs video, and, and I'm, I'm hearing what he's saying, and I'm like, you know he's he's right about all that shit, and um, cause I've been I've been said in my last one that you know we have to consider law enforcement's involvement in this, you know what I mean in their in their vested interest in keeping keeping the wars going and keeping everybody divided, you know what I mean our government itself. Um, so as I'm watching that Dove video. Charles Manson and Halter Skelter came to mind. If you know anything about Charles Manson and Halter Skelter, you know that Charles Manson's intent was to create a race war. And it seems likely that, that the whites... This is right up their alley. This is their type of thinking. And people people are not understanding something about them. Okay, there may be this loose alliance that's historical between the Mexican Mafia and the Aryan Brotherhood. But they've also had problems in California prison system. Um, and people... People are overlooking the fact that whites hate all people that are not them. They don't like they don't like the raza any more than they than than the blacks. Now they may put on a little song and dance when it comes to the raza because of that alliance or whatever, but they hate us all the same. White supremacy means that they're above us and we're beneath them. Now, okay, no one, no one really knows if it was Tortilla Flats, right? Is there any proof that it was Tortilla Flats that did that? Or is just somebody yelling Tortilla Flats and doing that without being seen? There's no, there's no real proof of that, right? Also, when it comes to um, this warning that was put out, you know, this green light on blacks that was put out, you know, I seen the, I seen the, the, the meme or whatever you want to call it on young ass channel when he spoke about it. And, um, the first thing that come to mind when I seen that is like, okay, so what website did that come from? Whose profile was it? You know what I mean? I start asking these questions to narrow down the scope of who may truly be behind it. Because, you know, people in their blind rage are not thinking clear. And I think that we need a reason amongst ourselves about this, the blacks and the browns. 
We truly need to reason amongst ourselves and, and, and realize that the whites have, the, have a vested interest. They have a great interest in seeing us at war. Now, it's, it's, it's comical, really. Well, it would be if it wasn't so deadly. But to think that that group can go to war with the Crips and Bloods, when there's so many in Los Angeles County alone, and that would only put a target on all the whites, right? And make any, any white around there a target. It seems that it seems like how to scouter to me. It seems like some Charles Manson type of, of manipulation that's got people's minds twirling in madness and unable to think. I think it's by design. And I think we all need to pause and really take a look at this, man. I think that people need to reach out, man. If 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 you can reach out and, and get at someone to get clarity and understanding, then that would be wise. If there's homies in the pen, you know, Crips of Bloods, whatever, they can reach out to homies from from the flats, you know what I mean, or 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 Emeros or whoever, the shot callers in there. To, to try to figure out what's going on out there because it seems to me somebody's trying to start a race war on purpose. Somebody's trying to incite violence in the worst of ways. And I'm asking everyone, think before you act. Reach out, reach out to the homies, man, and, and try to find out for sure because we may find a blue, a, a, a blonde haired, blue eyed devil in the midst of this who's creating all of this. Now, we understand, especially the way that these kids are this day, they don't shy away from coming in front of cameras with guns and shit like that. You know, we seen with, with the peace talks amongst the Crips, how, you know, these youngsters went to these parks flashing guns, getting on camera. And that's the mentality of these kids out there banging. Whether people like it or not. Whether you agree with how they talk and whatever and they walk or whatever. That's what they do. But I think we, we need to do a deeper look into what's going on out there. Because, yeah, somebody's trying to stir the pot. You know what I mean? And if, if, if those whites... If, if those whites are trying to do that to, to get us to go to war or if it's the cops that are trying to do that and get us to go to war, all the more reason for us all to stand up and go against them and shut that shit down. Because without those alliances in prison, if, 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 if the Raza, the Sureños did not back up the whites in there anymore, at 23% of that population, especially when the others, especially when the others would fall in suit with the rest, it would be all bad for them. And I think we need to seriously consider all of these possibilities. And like I said, think before you act. We don't, we don't need to go back to those days when we are in such a place, man, where we're having these conversations. You know, I just had a live earlier with, with Brother Tiny Tim, you know, and, and, and we, we're speaking to all of this. And it's all far too coincidental to me. It's too, too coincidental. And I think we need to give greater consideration and greater co co concern for ourselves and really reach out, man. And try to and try to figure this out before anybody makes any moves, man. Everybody's in my prayers, man, because you know I've been speaking to peace. I've been hoping for this, man. You know I, I've had long talks with OG Justin Baycott and Tiny Tim and others, man, about it. 
And anybody that's watched me long enough knows I've been pushing that for a while. So I think everybody should really consider that. Peace. I'm out.